Okay, today we are going to talk a little bit about the basics of MIDI. Let's say hypothetically you just got your first MIDI controller, you have a couple of MIDI based pedals and you want to figure out how to create your first preset or do your first action over MIDI. Today is going to be a look into how to do that. I'm gonna do step-by-step -step processes here. It's really not that bad once you kind of have a bit of a guide and a few things to check along the way to make sure that you're doing it right. So let's just get right into it and talk about the first things you wanna do on your first MIDI pedal board. Okay, let's go through this one step at a time. What I've done here is, as you can see on the desk, I have a MIDI controller, the RJM PBC6X. This one has loops as well, true bypass loops, so you can turn analog overdrives on and off by turning the loop on or turning the loop off. You don't need to have loops for this video. You could just have a straight MIDI controller, which is just doing the MIDI cable outputs and sending to pedals, and that's it. So this one has a little bit extra just because we can, why not? You'll also see I have a Strymon Timeline and a preamp MK2 by Chase Bliss. Lastly, the Dunlop DVP4 is set up as an expression pedal, which we'll get to at the end. That's a little bit of bonus content for you in case you wanna go into the world of MIDI and expression pedals, which go to that world. It's a good place. First thing we're gonna do, we need to check the MIDI channels on our devices. And what I mean by that in this case is the timeline and the MK2. If we don't know the MIDI channels, we can't communicate with those pedals. So that is step number one. How we would actually do that on the timeline, for example, is we could just go over to MIDI CH, stands for MIDI channel, clever. And we can see we're on channel one. Let's leave it there and we can get out of that menu. For the MK2, you'll read in the manual, Chase Bliss actually, as a side, has MIDI manuals. It's a short two page usually, maybe even one page manual, just dedicated to what you need to know for MIDI. Super helpful. The MK2, after looking this up, I know that by default it ships on MIDI channel two. So we have channel one for the timeline, channel two for the MK2. Something I like to do on pedal board setups, again, another aside, aside within aside, uh, is I like to run the MIDI chain in order of the signal chain. So in this instance, which I actually don't think I'm doing today, I would run from the output of the PBC labeled MIDI out, and then I would run to the MIDI in of the Chase Bliss MK2, because that is first in the signal chain, uh, the audio signal chain, MIDI out of the MK2 into the timeline. Today I've done it backwards because it was just the closest MIDI cable. But then you know really quickly, if I'm having an issue with my MIDI chain, I know the order in which the MIDI pedals are going, so it's easier to troubleshoot. I'll do the same thing on channels. Another thing I have backwards today, I would normally change the MK2 to channel one, the timeline to channel two because that's the order in which they're seen. MIDI channels really don't matter just so long as one device on your pedal board in the majority of circumstances has one channel assigned to it. We wouldn't want to have the MK2 and the timeline both on channel one because no matter what you do on the controller then they will always be changing at the same time and you can't send them different signals. Give your pedals different MIDI channels, you'll be a happy person. Next thing you're gonna do, I've already kind of mentioned, you're gonna hook up MIDI. So you, again, the order doesn't really matter. We just change the order to make it easier later on down the track. So today we're going from the output of the timeline over a standard MIDI cable, a five pin DIN cable, into the MIDI in on the timeline, MIDI out of the timeline to MIDI in on the Chase Bliss MK2. That is it for the hardware. Other than that, everything's powered up. The expression pedal is connected to the expression pedal jack on the PBC6X, which means the PBC will convert any uh, setting it gets from the expression pedal over the MIDI channels, and you can control things via expression over MIDI. Really fun. 
Now let's get into probably the first thing you're gonna do on your MIDI device. So I'm gonna go over to my laptop here and you can see we are just gonna to go to the devices page. Nothing has been set up. First thing we're gonna do is go to Strymon, Timeline, MIDI Channel 1, that's great. PC Offset basically just means that Timeline Preset 0 is going to now be Preset 1. So if I program Preset 1 on the MIDI program, it will line up with Preset 1 on the Timeline, which is actually 0, 0, 0 1, a um, or 0, 0, a I believe. Either way, the offset kind of deals with the discrepancy of some companies using zero as one when others are using one as one. Confusing, sounds crazy, just trust me. The other thing we need to do is set up our next device, which is the Chase Bliss preamp MK2. This we're gonna put on channel two because that's what we have on the pedal. We can leave the offset for now and the first thing we're going to do is create a preset. We aren't gonna do anything fancy. We're just gonna send a PC message, a program change, or go from preset one that's saved on the pedal and then switch up to preset two, something like that. So we'll do timeline PC one preamp. Let's go up to PC four. And then we can go to preset two, just so we have something to change to. We'll do timeline two and then we'll go five on the preamp. Now we're gonna write those changes to the device. We have preset one, which should already be loaded. Preset two, we should go to five on the MK2, great. And zero, zero, or zero B on the timeline, which is great. We can go back to one, and we're just moving through presets, which is great. So the presets are working just as we had them programmed. So that is basically as easy as it is to create a preset. I will say though, it is really hard to mess up one of these steps and nothing will work. So if you ever run into issues with your MIDI chain, just start simple. Just do one MIDI controller into one pedal, check the MIDI channels, check the cable, and see if things are changing on the pedal. One really easy thing to forget is that you also on pedals in the middle of your chain, on the end of your chain, it doesn't matter so much, in the middle of the, your chain, you wanna check MIDI through. We actually had it on merge, which is still fine. MIDI through allows MIDI messages to pass through the timeline in this example and pass on messages destined for the MK2. Without MIDI through on, no messages are gonna make it to the MK2. It's gonna act like it's broken or not receiving anything when really it was just a setting on the timeline, not allowing messages to pass. So you need to look into that stuff as well if you're getting little troubleshooting issues. That will help greatly. Now let's move on to expression. This is one of my favorite things to do over MIDI. It's so powerful. You can create a preset across these different pedals and you can control any number of parameters on all pedals, just one, one and MIDI pedal three, you can do anything. And you can control multiple knobs, let's say for the timeline for instance, at the same time with one movement of the expression pedal. You could move mix up while moving repeats down, while moving grit to halfway. You can do all sorts of things over expression. If you think about this practically in real time while you're playing at a venue, you can just sweep up the mix level and get things going really crazy with your delay and then pull them right back again. Lots of powerful things you can do over expression using MIDI. What we're gonna do is just quickly set up a global setting here and we'll name this MK2, maybe we'll do game. We're gonna change the device to the MK2, and we're gonna open up the CC number and look at gain, min value is zero. If you wanted to just go back halfway and not go all the way to zero, you could do 127 divided by two, 63.5, 64, 62. Um, and that's it. The same way if you didn't want to go all the way up to max gain, you could drop that back down. So we're going to do done on there. We're going to upload the changes. And let's see if the gain fader 
moves when we move the expression pedal. And go halfway, and we can adjust. So while we're playing, we could actually be tweaking this gain level to right where we want to do it. At the same time, we could be moving bass down, treble up, volume up or down to compensate for the changes that are happening, all with the one movement on expression. Really cool. I love being able to use expression over MIDI just because of the tonal options it opens up. That's really it for today. How to create a preset and set up your MIDI devices. All of the cables you're seeing here are available on our website, custom built to order. You can tell us what ends you want, the orientation you want them made in, straight, TRS, eighth inch, all sorts of stuff. Check it out if you need some MIDI cables. Other than that, thanks for checking out the video today. We will see you next week for another video on the Goodwood Audio YouTube channel.